Hi everyone, welcome to Crafting is Therapy. Look what I have here today. Brand new product from Scorch Marker. I am so excited to try it. Evan says that it is better than Mod Podge. So I am very excited to find out if it is and how it works and what the difference is. I do plan on doing a different video uh, because I do have a variety of decoupage glues. So I'd like to do a comparison side by side with them. So, but I thought today I would just come on and share what Magic Modge is like. So let's give it a try. I don't know if you can really see the lines, but it's more fluid than uh, Mod Podge. It isn't uh, pasty. So that will be a significant difference too. Because I know the different decoupage glues I have are thicker and only one of them's thinner. Let's see if you can see how that looks. just smelling it. The smell isn't too bad. I, I would say it's very comparable to other decoupage glues as far as that's concerned. It smells a little more, um, I think more comparable to like varnish, you know, the water-based, the safe kind. <laughs> not, not the kind that stinks your whole house up just by opening the can, um, but it's very mild. It'll be interesting uh, to see if my husband notices the smell in the house when he gets home from work today. But I have a few different samples set up. I painted one white, then I'm gonna leave one wood color, and then this one I figured we would try mixing it with glitter and then just sprinkling glitter on it and see how it reacts. But let's start with this one first. I have a piece of, this is rice paper napkin and it actually comes this thin. I didn't have to take layers off or anything. That is nice and thin. This I think, you know, cause he compares it to Mod Podge, but just by this little bit, I think it's gonna be in a class of its own. I just have that feeling. Um, I think this is going to be more of a professional type, whereas I like to use Mod Podge purely because if I use it on glass or plastic, if I don't like how it looks, I can soak it in a hot soapy bath and remove uh, the, the paper and, and the Mod Podge and start over again. And I don't know if we would be able to do that with this. As you can see, it went on nice. I'm really digging the, uh, the smoothness. You know how some glues and stuff, they feel kind of I don't know, like they stop your brush. And this seems like it goes a little smoother. I put a little much on that part, but we'll spread it down. And it's supposed to be fast drying, fast curing. And who doesn't love that? So I'll just set that one there. And I also, and I got some on my hand. And it doesn't, um, it's like crumbling off. 
it's not, uh, not you probably can't see it on there, but it's, uh, it comes right off. So that's a win. Some glues I have, no matter how much you rub, you're gonna get soap and water out. And I picked this napkin for my other spot. It's a beautiful napkin, but because of the red, um, I don't know if it's anything to do with the brand, as my background is printing and certain inks, no matter what, they're gonna bleed. And this one, depending on the glue I use, depends on if it bleeds or not. So, and of course, I have to pick, peel the layers off of this one. It comes apart pretty nice. And I always save these pieces and some of them have print on them. They're kind of neat just to do a muted design. And I use them for cleaning my brushes and all that good stuff. I try not to waste anything. And notice it was laying on there. And it's just a little, little tacky yet. But that's pretty awesome. It's drying pretty fast. So let's take that one. I'm just going to tear this. before the video started <laughs> but we can speed it up I know some of you get a kick out of when I speed the video up and makes my voice sound all squeaky I always find it a bit funny too if you can't laugh at yourself you know what's the point gotta have a sense of humor kind of fun can you have if you're taking everything too seriously? All right. Sorry, that gets a little bit loud. Yep. All right, here's the test. Ooh. Not noticing a bleed. Okay, Evan. You knocked it out of the park on that part, buddy. bleed. Oh, that's exciting. Set that there. So, and next, I'm going to put just a little bit in there. Wipe the rim off. Let's put some Glitter in there. 
And this is my favorite way to use any of the decoupage glues because you know with glitter, once you bring it out, it's gonna be all over no matter how careful you are. And it stirs up nice. And if you're like me and mix things a lot, um, like if, you're, if you mix your own paint colors or you mix too much glitter and glue, I've been using the Glad Press and Seal and it actually saves it for a few days. It doesn't last too long, but a few days I usually get out of it. And I always use a fan brush for glitter, probably 95% of the time. I just like the way it spreads on there better. And it's gonna be different with this being the consistency of Magic Modge is a lot thinner than Mod Podge. Look at how that goes on. And this, when it dries, because the glue is thinner, or I shouldn't call it a glue because it's more than a glue, um, the medium, you're still gonna feel the glitter chunks and pieces. Let's see how that is. And if you like this color, it's one of the glitters from Michael's. Hmm. I like that. So, let me grab a, we'll just use this napkin. This is Martha Stewart glitter. I don't believe this is being made anymore. Um, I purchased it at Tuesday morning, probably right before the pandemic. how it turns out when you just sprinkle it on. I'm really, really liking it. This piece, completely dry. There is no stickiness, no tackiness. Wow. I think I'm in love. No. <laughs> You gotta have fun, right? Let's see how this one is. This one I put on a little bit thicker, so it's still, it's a little bit, it's still a little damp, but it's not anything like the other decoupage glues. So I'm gonna give this product a big two thumbs up. I would not compare it to Mod Podge because it's not a traditional pasty type decoupage glue. I'm gonna put Magic Modge in a class of its own and it is amazing. So I can't wait to see if Evan creates a matte formula because matte glue is my absolute favorite. Um, but he completely knocked it out of the park. Way to go, Evan. Proud of you for making another amazing product. So, 
give it a try. You can order it on Amazon. I will make sure to leave a link so that you can easily find it. And when you do, feel free to comment and let me know what you thought of it. I'd love to know, and I'm, I'm sure Evan would like to know too. All right, have a great day, everyone. Take care.